Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of our tutorial on the WooCommerce Checkout Manager extension. Uh, I have the pro version installed and so I'm going to quickly demo that for you so that you can decide if uh, the pro version is what you need or if the uh, free version of this plugin uh, is good enough. Okay, so as you can see it has much of the same obviously as the free version. We have billing section, shipping, and then the ability to add custom fields. Uh, quick difference, if I open up billing section uh, here you can see that you have the ability to make all of the fields required or not required and you have uh, the ability to replace the label name and placeholder name for more of the fields than you do with the free version and the same is true with the shipping section uh, you could make them all required or not required and you have the ability to change more of the label names and placeholder names so that's the main difference uh, between the pro version and the free version in terms of the billing and shipping. You just have the option to ability to customize more and make them required or not with the click of a button. Um, for and, and I'll show you a quick example of that. Here's the the free version of the plugin. You can see you don't have the option to make uh, them required or not required. All of them required or not required like you do with the pro version for shipping um, and for billing. All right, so let's go back to the pro version of the plugin. Um, <clears throat> this is unique to the pro version, the ability to add a custom CSS and stylize the checkout page more to fit your theme. Uh, you can change font sizes and colors and all the stuff you can do with custom CSS. All right, so you have that the ability to do that with pro. Uh, the uh, add checkout notice gives you the ability to add two notices to the checkout field um, before the customer address field or uh, before the order summary. So for example, if we went and took a look out here, we could add a notice right here up top, or and or we could also add one before the order summary down here. Let's say we wanted to add a message or a notice before uh, the address fields. That's, that's, there's my message, so I'm gonna check that. And then I wanna add one after or before the order summary. All right, so I'll do that, and then I'll save changes. All right, so there you can see the custom notice that I created before the uh, billing and shipping address fields, and then we also have one down here as well before the order summary part of the WooCommerce checkout. So that's something you can do really easily with the pro version. Um, another thing you can do is you can position, change positions of fields and custom fields with this section here. Another advantage of the pro version is the ability to create uh, many different types of custom fields. Uh, for example, choose type here, text input, a text area, password, you can have radio buttons, check boxes, select options, date picker, time picker, and then an HTML swapper as well as a color picker. So those are the different types of custom uh, fields that you can create on the checkout page and you can uh, you select that to have them show up obviously on the checkout page and then this one to have them show up on the checkout details and the email receipt uh, as well as in the uh, admin when the order comes through and you take a look at it there and you can change the label of that whole field that shows up where it says additional information you could change it to anything that you wanted additional information needed uh, or whatever so for example if we were to create uh, a simple uh, let's just go with uh, radio button. Um, let's just say radio button field. And then we were to add some options. Let's say red, green, blue. And then we were to, let's see here. Let's say we're going to make it a required attribute and let's go ahead and save changes. If I scroll down you'll see we changed first of all that label from additional information to additional information needed and then here's our radio button where they can choose whatever you want, whatever values you want to set. Okay so uh, that's unique to the pro version you do have the ability to create uh, many different types of custom fields and I believe you can add up to 10 custom fields uh, from the documentation that I read. I have not tested uh, that, but uh, it does say that you can add up to 10. So 
Um, just wanted to throw that out there, what the pro version uh, of the WooCommerce Checkout Manager plugin looks like in case you are thinking about upgrading uh, to it. Um, so hopefully this helps uh, with your decision of whether the, uh, the basic free version will work or if you want to try the pro version. Um, and then again, check out the full tutorial we have on customizing uh, the WooCommerce checkout uh, page so that uh, in case you want to try to do this, some of this yourself without the use of a plugin, you can do that as well. Uh, thanks for taking time to watch this video. We'll see you in the next one.